So is this in a different sort of way. New tonight, an off-duty El Dorado County fire captain is being credited with saving a man trapped inside a burning vehicle. Look at that inferno. Now, the fiery crash happened in Sacramento along I-80 last weekend, and tonight we're hearing from the firefighter. Many are calling a hero. It was absolutely um, the right place and the right time. Jacob Pugansky was driving home from dinner with his wife last Sunday night along I-80 near Antelope Road when they saw a Ford Explorer had just crashed right into the center divider. We knew that it could be a life-threatening situation. The impact so severe it bent the metal guardrail and sent debris across several lanes of traffic. As we approached the driver's side, um, window. We noticed that there was a person who was slumped over the wheel um, and appearing motionless. As Jacob tried to pry the door open, a fire had started under the car's hood. His wife had already called 911. And rescue crews were on the way. I have an SUV versus the center divide on fire. Party still inside the vehicle. Then within seconds, the situation got a whole lot more serious. When we were pulling the patient um, out of the vehicle itself, there was fire coming through the dashboard and the floorboard section of the vehicle. Jacob's been a firefighter for 20 years and has responded to dozens of car fires, but this time he was off duty wearing shorts and sandals with no safety gear. This was certainly a case where um, getting in there without the equipment um, was necessary. By the time that the public safety personnel arrived, there was fire not only coming out of the engine compartment where it started, but also through all the windows in the passenger compartment. My belief that, you know, had we not stopped, um, he definitely uh, would have died in the accident. Jacob says the man regained consciousness after being pulled to safety, and medics say he was not seriously injured and refused transport to the hospital. Many are now calling Jacob and the others has stopped to help heroes for putting their lives on the line for a stranger. You know, if I see something where I can stop and make a difference, then I absolutely will. Oh, that's one lucky dude, right? Mm -hmm. Tonight we reached out to CHP to see what caused the crash, but we have not heard back.